grip get up like this. Maybe five meters or five yards there. Maybe eight yards there, maybe. <coughs> okay, so I grip like that. With a line going through the middle. What's the importance of that line going through the middle? Game line. Okay. We have uh, tacklers here. So if that's a tackler, that's, that's the inside man. We never use that outside man to assist. Why would, why would we have that as a rule? Yes. But most of the go the same way. And you often leave a hole there for the runner to go through. So we always keep our outside guy in the line and only our inside man assists. And so that we'll have the same setup here, like that. We'll have a uh, ball carrier here, ball carrier there. And I normally have some pad holders here, maybe two that side. And Maybe one this side, and now on the game line. Because generally that's where support's coming from. So the ball carrier, if he can get across the game line, then these guys are going to have to clean pretty effectively. If we can beat them to the game, runs through after the tackle with that cone and the tackler will run through and give you a walk out of here. So it's just a, a rotation if you like. So I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. It's really simple. So just remind you of looking for cues when the ball back. Cues we're looking for support cars are too far away. Back's the first cleaner. We have a crack at. Um, and there is daylight for us to get over, over the ball. Okay, so we'll there's only one cleaner and uh, we'll pinch the ball. This isn't a very good tackle, this one. See, there's one cleaner there. He didn't get his hands on the ball, but the other one joins in because it's, a, it's not an opportunity and we win the ball. Here, it's a good tackle, but they've got three cleaners straight there and so he just gets out. <coughs> Those are really simple decisions. I'll just play that again. So you can